Hey guys, so uh, here we are working on our uh, dock. Chelsea's over there staining the leftover wood that we had from the house. Uh, hardwood, we're making some walkways that are going to go up to the house. And uh, basically, I'm working on the dock part. So I'll show you what, uh, what we're doing here. There's a lot of these videos out here. Um, these 50 gallon barrels are my favorite and uh, seem to be the most efficient way to get your floating dock to work. I am using six of them for a 10 by 10 setup and I'll put the materials in the uh, description below. So um, this is what we got. I got trusses underneath it, just kind of keeping it everything steady because we're sitting down here in mud and sand. Um, and as you can see, what I'm doing is lining up the barrels um, and then I am going to be screwing them in. I've already kind of pre-drilled them and screwed, got them ready to screw in. So I'll do that real quick. This is the future site of our dock, which we are building right now. I'm doing some brush clearing, got everything out of the pond, that the big stuff's out of there, getting ready to be burned. Okay, guys working on the house, and we got the tree guys. You can't see them, but they're up there working uh, and getting some of our older timber out of there. And right now, this is the start to the dock. As you can tell, we got a lot of mud, so I've got uh, the old trusses out here kind of supporting everything. And nothing is uh, completely straight yet. I'm working on that right now. We've got leftover wood and leftover decking. Uh, the good stuff, too, so... So we're going to put this together. My helper here is uh, getting us ready for these hooks. He's doing a great job. Just boring it a little bit to make it easier to screw in. I got these all positioned and then we're gonna flip it around. Obviously I still got some more cross boards to put in. And I have installed or just screwed these in just to hold the ropes. Obviously they're not screwed in all the way so they don't go into the, the bucket, I mean the uh, barrel, so. Uh, so we're going to do some 2x4s I got left over from the house, some scrap. We're going to um, get them in there for some more support and then uh, basically uh, tie these down and flip it around and we'll get the, the top on. You do a good job, buddy. That's good. <laughs> good job. All right, so I got these blue barrels, and the barrels that I'm using are, um, these have been triple rinsed, so they're clean, they're food grade. Uh, I usually find these on uh, Marketplace, or, you know, they're around, they're about 25 bucks a barrel. Um, these are 55 gallon drums, and these work pretty awesome. You'll see a bunch of YouTube people have done this before, and um, I'm basically, what I'm doing is, the only place where they could leak is where these, um, uh, the screws go in here, um, the caps. So I'm going to silicone them, um, completely on on the inside here and that way when I screw them down we'll let them cure overnight and uh, they'll be good to go I didn't say I was gonna be neat about it it's cold out here today so we're just doing that screw it down and you'll notice the silicone comes right out there so that'll seal it real nice Go. That's it. So I let this dry, but uh, obviously I'm going to put it all together and uh, go to the next step. Thanks. There we go. Real sturdy. It'll help me uh, get the dock in, hook it up to the tractor. And drag it in because this thing's pretty heavy now so hey guys day three so I have uh, definitely chopped this video up and down um, 
we had a day of rain that I definitely was not recording and uh, got the gist of the boards on. Uh, but basically, here's what I did. And everybody's going to have different scenarios. I'm using leftover wood that we had, um, leftover pieces, for example. We had stairs, so I'm using the triangle pieces just to hold the barrels down. They're very secure. Um, you want to have them all even, obviously, so the dock floats even. And, of course, you want to have enough room here so the boards can screw down. Um, I also put some, um, I'm going to call it character wood on the end here. Uh, we had some leftovers. This is really hard wood we had, and I had some extra long um, screws that we put in there. Um, just to give it some rigidity and um, kind of give it like a, a worn look um, because I got like new wood on the outside here and then I got this dark um, uh, Trex wood we've got uh, left over from the porch that we're using. Um, so basically I'm using the Trex on top and then I've got this exterior wood here too. I'll probably throw a coat of stain on it and then uh, we're going to throw it in the water. So um, I went through, I got all the boards in there, everything is cross braced and secure. Um, I've even got an extra brace down at the bottom, so to help me get it into the water without it flexing too much. Uh, and then I put my little lamp pole up there on the sides. And then on the end, I haven't trimmed it down yet, but I put a little... Uh, once we do decide to jump in the water, we've got a... Uh, not really a jumping board, not a diving board, but a way to get up on top of the, the deck here if we need to. Um, so it should be pretty cool. But this is a 10 by 10 And uh, it is going to connect over here to the... Uh, you can see the kind of the runway that Chelsea has made and uh, she has stained all those boards. All of that is leftover wood we had from the house. So we're using everything on site as much as we can. Um, the most expensive thing I had to buy was the $39 screws for this uh, <coughs> composite decking. And uh, if you've ever done composite decking, you've seen these before. Um, they're really skinny and then they kind of zip in like this. I can't even believe it. As usual, I got the tractor buried over there while trying to push it in, but that's all right. This is a successful day. Just moving into position.
do some tweaking. It's floating. I can't believe it. Pretty cool. So far, I just threw this across, a couple lines on it. We'll anchor it on a prettier day when it's not 30 degrees outside. And then we're gonna have this walkway going up. <laughs>